Good really evening, gentlemen. Pump Mike here. I'm back with another tutorial. So today we'll uh, relook again uh, one of the bases that I showed very recently, and that's the base including the spawn. And uh, it's supposed to be a kind of a heads up on a how. Oh. I hit it from the first Two time. So, it's supposed to be a heads up on how to make it actually more effective. So, let's get to it. Uh, so, you do the same thing, obviously. For, or at least for the beginning, because you want to use the same thing that we had last time. Now, the thing you're going to do different is you're going to take one of these walls. And you're going to have to set it up. Now for me to set it up I'm gonna get another platform. I'm gonna put it like this. Right so. And now I'm gonna test when I can jump on it and stand on it. Alright, so as you see it's right on the edge. That's what we need. Now we will take this cube. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna one take just one more because I'm gonna need remaining. it. So I'm gonna put this guy here. A second one behind it, like this. And this guy I'm gonna put like this. Uh what are we doing? We want to hit this line. You see how there is a big darker, uh, not a big, but it's darker color here. So that's what you're aiming for. You want to go below it. You want to be able to go on top of the cube and not jump on it and at that point you just lower the other cube. Now we don't really need this cube anymore. Um, now the only thing we need to do is to build the platform itself. That we're gonna stand. I'm gonna finish it up and after the normal Three, time. Two, one. The preparation phase has begun. So as we've placed these things, we don't need this platform and we don't need this block. So now we're gonna go try and pass it. Now as you see, this one is much harder. A zombie cannot j wait, I'm gonna need it I'm gonna need it again. So I'm a zombie. Ten, I can't nine, jump. I can't jump from here to there, so I need to use a special trick. And the special trick is obviously. So now I gotta just time it properly. I mean, not like this. I did a test like two minutes earlier, and it worked out pretty fine. So this length is good. I might have made it a little bit right, so you gotta take it a little bit backwards so you can make it properly. Or actually, I'm probably doing it. I'm probably doing it wrong. So you need to jump, and at the peak at the peak of the jump, you need to go. You need to press backwards. Uh, my platform earlier was uh, smaller, and I could easily do that then. Just a second. This is gonna work out in a bit. I didn't measure it properly. I'm actually gonna take the block again to redo the measures. So, if perhaps you gotta do it a little bit backwards, but I did it like from this side earlier to this one, and it went really good. All right, so eh, it's okay. Uh, it worked out. I'm not on this block, so it's not. Uh, it's it it didn't enhance my jump. So you it, it's it's gonna take practice for you to do it properly, but it does work. And now basically you you can do the simplest of uh, bunkers like this. Now the biggest benefit you're getting when you do it when you do it like this is that first of all uh, you are more protected from zombie ladders in a way 
because this block is much higher and from another point of view you can make a trap easier you just need probably a, a, a friend that that can help you do it properly so if we ignore that part we can just put in the blocks to have a complete bunker have a good vision of how the base would look it, it looks like the last one that I did the, the other spawn base but the key difference is that this one is much harder like I just had an idea that this could work and it actually does work and this is the maximum height that you can jump onto now as you see it's pretty high up it's pretty high up so I'm gonna revive myself oh wait I typed it wrong good job on me so uh, I'm gonna go jump it again no safety platforms as you see it's hard like this but now if you correct this part and make it harder like this uh, you probably have a higher success rate on jumping on it alright like this so the, the smaller you make it the, the easier the zombies fall down and the easier you actually as you know how to pass the base the easier you manage to get on top of your base and you can just add in this in case uh, you feel that zombies might do something something fishy like uh, f try to jump from there on the block even though that's that's not gonna work not at all now you need to make this less uh, it's off it's all right now so basically this is it uh, we're making it much higher like before I'm gonna revive myself again I'm gonna showcase on the other side what we had what I did in the previous one if you haven't watched the video in the previous version you have basically the same start and everything is the same except the height of the cube so in the last one we had a little bit lower like this So in the last one, the key difference was the cube was over there, oh, a little bit on over here, and as you see, this cube is much closer, but it's actually harder to jump on that cube than it is to get to that cube, the one that's much closer. So if I put it like this, and I jump, and I jump properly, I'm gonna go on this cube, which is, which was the, which was the other. So I think I press uh, backwards. As you see, I'm even standing up on this cube. This is the sole difference. If we line up, we are one cube behind. Uh, maybe more if I had uh, done it in a better way. But we're basically one cube behind. But it is in the same way. In at the same time, it is much more harder and much more efficient to do it to do it this way. So, uh, use the trick that I just showed you uh, with this block to arrange where exactly it is. So, as you see, Builders it's win. like one fifth into the cube, let's say. So, yeah, gentlemen, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you this video helps you to perfect the base. And, yeah. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.